So this is question number 19, and it asks us to use the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions to the following equations. And we're going to solve each equation in the complex number system. So what we're going to do first here is bring the 9 over, because we know to solve an equation it has to be set equal to 0. And so then I'm going to distribute my uh, 4x, and I get 4x squared plus 12 x plus 9 is equal to 0, and now I'm going to use my discriminant, which is um, b squared minus 4ac, and if my discriminant is positive, then we are going to have um, one or two distinct solutions. Um, if it's positive, it's going to be, yeah, we'll see, because if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we have one repeated solution. If it's positive, we have two distinct real solutions. And if it's negative, we have two distinct complex solutions. So here we get b squared, which is 144, minus 4 times 4 times 9. So 144, and then we've got 36 times 4, which is actually 144. So we get 0 here. So we've got one repeated real solution. And what we um, have when we solve that is... Uh, negative b over 2 times a, so 8. So your repeated real solution is going to be negative 3 halves here. So that's repeated real solution. Here, in problem number b, again we're going to do our discriminant, so that's um, b squared minus 4 times a times c, so that gives me 16 minus 12 times 5, which is 60. So this is a negative value, and so this gives me a negative 44. And so what this means is that I'm going to have two distinct uh, complex solutions. And I do that, now I can just do my whole quadratic formula. So y equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus square ac, which we already did, so that's negative 44, all over 2 times a, which is 6. And so I can bring out um, a 2i, and so I'm left with 4 plus or minus 2i square root of 11 over 6. And you can simplify each of these by a value of 2. So your answer is... 2 plus or minus i square roots of 11 all over 3. And that is how you do question number nine.